Hello and welcome, hope you guys are good. I uh, just wanted to give you some quick tips today on the key to getting a perfect rinse on a window like this when you're using water-fed pole. Quite often you'll say to a customer, if it's a first clean, that it might take a couple of cleans to get a good clean, a spotless rinse. That's one of the biggest concerns for a, a customer very often when you're using water-fed pole is that you're leaving the window wet. Now that can make it difficult when you're carrying out the job to know when you've got a really good clean because you have left it in a state where it is wet and, you, and you're not going to wait around to see it dry out. So what we want to know is what techniques you can use to get a really good rinse so you can be more confident that you've got that good clean that you really want to achieve. key then to getting a really good rinse starts with the clean in the first place you need a really good scrubbing action and I would say that you really need to focus on this top section here this part of the frame uh, as well as this part of the window because if you take good care of that section the top third giving it a good clean a good scrub then when you start your rinse from this point downwards the rest will really take care of itself not quite, but you know what I mean. As you work your way down, the key is really starting from the top, doing a good job at that top section, and then continuing that process all the way down the window. So here we go then. I start at the top of the window, and I work from side to side along the top of the frame. We start on the frames first, work down the sides. And now I concentrate on the glass. I really want to work those bristles into the corners, each side, and along the edges of the rubber as well, along the top and down the sides. And then we can cover the rest of the window. You see, by the time you've done that on a window this size, you've covered most of the window already. So then if you're cleaning a window that has a bar across it like this, you want to make sure you give this bar a good scrub as well because when you come to rinse the window you're going to be rinsing water all the way across there all the way down the window so we're going to give this bar a good scrub and again into the corners along the rubber at the top and down the sides and i always like to give the window sill a good clean if i can as well it's always nice to have a good clean window sill so now we come to the rinse. So we're gonna start the rinse from the top of the frame here. We don't wanna go on the brickwork because that will bring more dirt down onto the glass. But if we start the rinse here, get a nice side to side motion going. And then we'll get a nice stream of water cascading all the way down the window, working all the way down from side to side. Now it might mean that we need to come back and make sure we just get a nice jet of water to flush out any dirt from those rubber seals down each side and also make sure we flush out any dirt that might be sitting along the bottom here and of course we want to wash down that bar across the middle really well and the same thing on the piece of glass make sure we wash out those seals this time I'll do the seals first down each side and then get that cascade of water coming all the way down work our way all the way down to the bottom and then I wash off the window sill again finally at the end. don't want this to sound patronizing but as you're rinsing you can use your eyes really sometimes you can see a speck or a spot of something on the window and you can just come back and give it a little scrub as you're rinsing because um, you want to make sure there's no grit or anything like that left behind and make sure you carry out the whole process the scrubbing and the rinsing just to make sure it's all left clean and perfect with just that pure water left behind 
Now, if I've carried out that process really thoroughly, I can be confident that I've given the window a good clean and I know it's gonna dry without leaving any spots or residue on the glass. The idea is that the action of the brush really agitates the dirt. The dirt will then stick to the pure water, but you need to wash away that dirty to leave behind just the clean, pure water, which will then evaporate without leaving any residue. So it's really important that you get the rinse really just right. You wash down the window really thoroughly. Now, depending on how dirty the window is, it comes with experience, but you know how much you need to scrub. You'll get a feel for how much you need to rinse and then you can speed up the whole process. And with most cleaning regimes, the more often it's done, if it's done nice and regular, then it really keeps on top of things and it'll be easier each time you come to do it as well. So I hope you find that helpful. I hope you find it useful. There's loads more tutorials on my channel. Thanks for watching. Look after yourselves and I hope to see you again very soon.